G'day scaled tankers. Just thought I'd take this opportunity to give you a quick walk around the motor which I've just this moment finished. Well, not quite finished. There are a couple of things that um, need fixing and finishing but it's about 98% complete I'd say. Um, first of all, I'd just like to I don't know whether you can see it though, because it's a little bit dark in here, it is night time. Um, the axles are in in place now. Uh, turn this bracket here and the one on the other side moves. As you can see over there. Okay, the electrical wiring is just about completed. The box is on the side here. Got to say thank you to Michael for a few tips that he gave me on welding. Didn't turn out too bad. Could also be better. Um, placing the computers in this area here is probably not the best idea due to heat. But to help combat that, I will actually be sealing this. Drilling some holes in this side to allow air to be drawn in through here because this will be a sealed compartment here full of fresh air so hopefully the air will be drawn through here I'll be placing this tube drilling it in the top and putting a little hole in here because this is the air filter and hopefully the motor will draw the air through this up into the air filter and thus cooling this down these computers aren't directly mounted on the back plate. There is, I think, 15 millimetres of gap at the back there. So that should fare pretty good, I reckon. Well, it'll take a while to find out, anyway. I've put a couple of switches down here. Okay, ignition. Also, I've decided to keep most of the controls or the lights, warning lights and uh, gauges from the Speedo because they do all work. Um, fuel tanks over there. Fuel lines run across behind the battery. So all that's really hooked up to this is um, fuel, battery and a couple of leads to the fuel tank, um, the automatic transmission, now I do, I have actually made a couple of mistakes on here in the wiring, I cut a couple of leads and I just don't know where they go, I'm lacking a bit of power up here, so it's only just, it wants to stay in first gear for some reason. Um, I suppose with no power, it's not telling it how many revs it's getting and not changing gear. So I will have to do a bit of work on getting some power up here. I do have a few options. This, this one has power. And uh, this one has 7.5 volts. This one has 12 volts. We've just got to figure out which one goes where. Anyway. As for the running of the motor, everything's turned out pretty good. As I say, we can turn the accessories on, turn the ignition on, we'll wait for this light to go out, engine warning lights out, and ignition. It's a little bit loud, there is no exhaust. As you can see, it runs pretty smoothly. It's actually not bolting down anywhere on here. It is just sitting on here, so it's not overly vibrating anywhere. You can actually um, you can physically move it. A bit heavy. I think it actually probably weighs about between, I would say, I think it's around about 250 kilos. Uh, pretty heavy, but there again, 
you know, it was always going to be heavy. Um, quick demonstration of oh, transmission, how to change gears. This is the transmission cable. I'll actually loop this around so it goes to the front of the motor and you'll still be able to move this bar which moves the transmission lever there. Not connected though because I'll manually do it at the moment. We'll just get that out of the way. We'll start again and get some movement. Not sure if you're supposed to wait for that light to go out or you can just go for it, but I always like to wait. Okay. So the first gear would be reverse. Like I say, it's just not changing gear at the moment. Uh, not exactly sure why. It has something to do with these wires. At the moment, I've got no power going to the economy normal switch and no power going to the overdrive off and on switch. Um, this is it here. A little blue wire. I'm not sure whether it takes 12 volt or a lower one, like I say I have a 12 volt one and I have a 7.5 volt one so whichever one of those goes through these switches I have yet to find out also uh, this solenoid isn't working I don't think there's any power going to that so we're totally lacking power going to this gear shift but like I say all in all pretty happy with how it turned out uh, I don't really recommend that you pull the wiring harnesses apart like I did um, I literally cut every wire to shorten them and, and whatnot like I say probably not the best idea but you know you live and learn anyway one more wait for that to go out watching.